what a Jewish mother-in-law can teach you about passion. Hi, it's Hung Yi at iloveinterraciallove.com. How many of you, come on, tell me really, how many of you have a stack of magazines with headlines that scream how to kickstart your love life, how to keep your man coming back for more, top 10 hot romantic tips? How many of you would love to capture that crazy, reckless, falling in love feeling and bottle it up forever? How do you keep the passion burning in an interracial relationship when sometimes it feels like there are so many other obstacles draining away your energy? The answer to this question came to me one evening when an old woman I really respect and listen to said, Let's talk about sex. What could I do? What could anyone do but talk about sex with Dr. Ruth? Now, she is a household name expert on sex. She's a mother, she's a mother-in-law, a grandmother, all rolled up into a mazel tov matzo ball of an authority on sex and how to have a happy sex life. I have a special fondness for spunky little old Jewish ladies who speak their minds, especially mothers-in-law. My mother-in-law, Mildred, may she rest in peace, God forbid I don't call the butcher so he slices my brisket the day after I make it, was a mother-in-law who could make chopped liver out of Woody Allen. And she too had her secrets about how to have a happy sex life at any age. Are you ready? Here are Mildred P. Krakauer's top three secrets. Number one, Mildred's libido boosting roast chicken. I can just hear her say this. Maybe oysters are an aphrodisiac for some people, but my Irvin, my Irvin likes roast chicken. And if roast chicken is what gets your man excited, he should have that for dinner at least seven days a week. You want to please your man? Make roast chicken. A nice salad. What's not to love about this food? You put that down on the table. You put his mind at ease. You'll see. She and Dr. Ruth both knew that the brain is the best ingredient for a great sex life. Number two, the spice. Mildred P. Krakauer's secret to keeping the relationship spicy. You can't be good in every room. She chose her rooms wisely. A beautiful home, a warm kitchen, and an intimate bedroom. That way she could focus on being new and innovative and presenting Irvin with something unexpected to keep the passion burning. The spice of life, just a missile, to their 30 plus years of marriage. She and Dr. Ruth are firm believers of banishing boredom from the bedroom. And number three, Mildred P. Krakauer's secret to keeping the passion burning. There was one single piece of advice that she shared with me and I will share with you. Don't ever, ever take each other for granted. Be grateful you are together and just love each other every day. I believe Dr. Ruth would wholeheartedly agree with that one. So there you have it. What two Jewish mother-in-laws have to say to teach you all about passion, even if you're not married to a nice Jewish boy. So let me know if your mother-in-law has a secret to keeping passion in a relationship and leave me a comment. You know that hearing from you is what I love, you love. We all scream for I love. Share the love. Like it and stay in the mix. Pop your name and email in the box below. Sign up for all the special stuff I have just for my subscribers at iloveinterraciallove.com. You won't want to miss it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next.